Hello again. I wanted to um, offer a follow-up on my post about roughly five or six days ago about my experiences with the Brain Driver 2.1. This thing is wonderful. I love it. Um, I really like the timer feature. I like it that it beeps when it turns off. Um, and most importantly, uh, I think I mentioned this in a previous video, that it fits into my pocket so I can have it on and um, be walking around my space, meditating, and be mobile. Um, it's just, uh, just really a wonderful little product. I've uh, had great results with it so far. Um, the dominant changes I've experienced. Well, by the way, I've been doing the DARPA montage um, in the morning because um, it has a slight stimulating effect. And then sometime in the evening time, I'm doing the depression and anxiety montage. So I'm doing two a day, typically uh, 20 minutes, uh, one millivolt. Um, I will put a link for the depression, anxiety uh, montage down below, as well as the DARPA montage. Um, the major thing that I'm noticing over the last roughly week is a reduction in, I can't say that I was depressed before, but there may have been some anhedonia. Um, I'm seeing a definitive increase in optimism and openness about thoughts I have about the future as well as experiences that might be available to me now. Um, it's for as long as I can remember, there's been constant just yada, 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 yada. If it's not in the forefront of my consciousness, then it's always in the background and it's a lot of ruminating circular thoughts. You know, it's often been cited that, um, by researchers that there's anywhere from, that humans have anywhere from 20 to 60,000 thoughts a day. And 98, 99% of those thoughts are repetitious. And probably one of the major things that I've noticed is that, that those repetitious thoughts, the monkey mind, has probably been reduced by at least 90%, maybe 95%. There's much, much more internal stillness um, present with me. Um, I carry a lot more calm. And as a result of that, it allows me to focus long term, like on my trading. Um, since there's more peace on the inside, there's fewer things. It feels like there's fewer things that are constantly pulling at my attention or fewer things that might result in action, like having a thought to go, you know, put something away in the bedroom or whatever. Um, the quieter mind and having less things tugging at me makes a huge, huge difference in my ability to focus on things. And the focus doesn't come from a stimulant type effect. Um, it just comes from a quieter mind, just like there's fewer, fewer things tugging at me. Um, I'm also noticing something else that feels really wonderful, and that's that that quieter mind is allowing me to drop into experiences and be more present with many, many things. I'm finding a greater inclination to sit down and practice on some of my musical instruments or go visit a friend and just hang out and talk without there always being this incessant, never-ending itinerary planning that my mind is usually doing. And my God, what a relief to be, uh, to be free of that. It feels really wonderful. Um, for example, Usually when I'm, I'm shopping, I'm in my own space, got my headphones in, doing a breath meditation or whatever. And I usually keep to myself in grocery stores, you know, not as a rule, but I'm just in my own space. And I was at uh, shopping yesterday and uh, checking out some spices and uh, 
shopping for peppercorns, and I remembered that something that's fascinating to me that uh, the amount of uranium that actually detonated in the Hiroshima bomb, the actual quantity was about the size of a peppercorn. And I mentioned that to a guy um, to the side of me, and I struck up a conversation, and I never initiate conversations in grocery stores, because like I said, I'm usually keeping to myself. So I'm seeing this kind of more relaxed, social, experiential side of my personality coming up, which I would probably categorize as being more um, right-brained. Not that you can divvy up the behaviors in a clear, clean-cut way, but I'm seeing more right-brained behaviors, more experiential stuff, less linearity, um, less planning, and more experiencing, which is, is a godsend. Um, I'll take a peek at my notes real quick here. Um, so yeah, um, more optimism, better focus in my trading, more social connectivity, more availability just to be present with my experience instead of always, you know, chasing that carrot that my ego is always dangling out in front of me. Um, on a different note, out of curiosity, I was curious as to how much voltage is actually uh, being applied. So I did a little experiment this morning. Um, it was during the DARPA montage, which is the uh, positive anode on the right temple and the cathode on the left shoulder. And um, the way, the, the measurement that virtually all these TDCS units use is in uh, amperage, which is the quantity of current flowing through the head. And they maintain a steady quantity by adjusting the amount of voltage that the unit's applying. I'd be really curious if they flipped that around and maintained a steady voltage and adjusted the current. But anyways, um, so I was just curious as to how much voltage is actually being applied to my noodle. And uh, initially I was using the, the DARPA montage, like I said, at uh, 1.5 milliamps. Um, and the greater the resistance, in, in electrical terms, the, the greater the resistance, the higher the voltage needs to be in order to flow the same current. The fact that the DARPA montage uses the right temple and the left shoulder, which is further away than the opposite side of the head, which is what many of the montages you use. For example, one montage for uh, depression and anxiety uses uh, both electrodes on the forehead. So that's going to have a much lower resistance. So anyways, the lower the resistance, the less voltage it takes to apply the same amount of current through. Um, and using the DARPA montage at one and a half milliamps, um, it was applying about five and a half volts. Um, and then I decided to bump it up to two milliamps and the uh, applied voltage increased proportionately up to about seven volts. So just a little curiosity that uh, had been bugging me uh, on my part. And now I know, so I just wanted to pass that information on to anyone else that's curious about how much, roughly how much voltage is being applied um, in the usage of TDCS. So I'm going to continue to experiment with uh, other montages, and if I have any significant uh, insights or revelations, I will certainly post them here on my channel.